everyone, welcome back. I told you I would keep you busy. Um, as long as we're home, I'm gonna keep pumping these out. So I'm gonna make this really easy um, like pocket album that I thought you guys would like. It's super quick and really easy. And you may know how to do this, but I'm just gonna show you what I did for mine. So I started off and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna actually go through this tutorial, but I do wanna show you um, what I used in case you have any questions. So um, as you see, I have this little mason jar in the front and in case you're wondering, cause this fits this perfect. Um, this is actually a Pebbles mason jar die that I got at Tuesday morning. I don't, I didn't even know that Pebbles made, you know, dies, but they're awesome. And if you don't have a mason die, I mean, no big deal, right? You can just pop something else on there. And this little bow here, um, I got from Hobby Lobby. It's a paper studio, so I just stuck that on there. I thought that was a nice little touch to add. Okay, and this collection again is the same one I've been using, which has been the um, Simple Stories Little Princess. So this is just more of the papers. But I made this really cute pocket album, and what I thought would be great, just because right now it's kind of, you know, a rough time for everyone. I thought it would be sweet to have these little notes in there that say like a little encouraging things, kind of like an ATC. Um, if you don't mean you know, artist trading cards, I believe. I, I don't know what size those are, but this is sized at about a little over one and a half inch by two and a half inch. I think ATC cards are two by three, but I'm not sure. But anyways, it has just little like quotes on here um, that I added. And as you can see, I just thought it was fun to do. And um, added the stickers on here and just little um, enamel dots. I'll show you guys a detailed view. And if the crown fits. So that is going to be the album. Um, okay, so for, just so you know, I had the perfect die for these little cards. I used, um, and again, I got this one on Tuesday morning. I don't know if you can find it on Amazon, um, but it's Kelly Hero Arts, and I used this little die. It just happened to fit really perfect, and if you don't have that, obviously, um, you can use all sorts of things. Like, I just want to give you some samples of what you could use. You could use tags. Um, I thought this was cool. I had found, um, the Spellbinders little square. So any shape will, f like, small little shape will fit great in there. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to, um, you're going to need a, uh, six, I've used my six by eight paper pad, okay? So it's going to be, um, three by eight inches, okay, this strip. So you're gonna need three strips like this. So three, three by eight papers. And this just kind of was perfect because you can just split these in half and it makes two. And the scraps I used for the cards. So you're gonna put your paper down at your eight inch mark and simply score at two, four, and six. So you're gonna have four boxes and it's going to be two, four, six, and four, um, I'm sorry, four little box sections. So I'm just going to fold my ends to make these little pockets. I'm just going to fold the two ends. And these are going to be our pockets. So for my trick to get these even when I punch my pocket hole is I open it up and I put it halfway. And I grab my hole punch. This is a larger hole punch, but I kind of like the way it looked. And I just clip those both at the same time. So I know that those are even when I do my pockets. So that's just a little tip. And now we're just gonna seal this up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue right here and glue right there just to keep that pocket open. Okay, so you're going to do this step three times. And no, I'm not gonna make you do it three times with me. I actually have two more made. Let's 
So right here. So you do this step three times and you're gonna have three sets of these. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop a little um, mason jar on the front cover. I cut one out already. So I'm just gonna make this my cover. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this on. I love making these little mini albums. They're so cute and versatile and you can make them so many different ways. So I'm putting that on here. I'm just adding my bow. And this, the sugars it came with were not that great because they keep falling off when I take them out of the package. Oh, I put it on the wrong side. And now I have glue on the other side. It's all right, let's see if it works. Okay, stay on for me. I don't have much glue because it came off. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my um, fold these in half with your pocket inside. I'm gonna fold all these. And we're just gonna glue them basically back to back. So you can absolutely like leave it so you have a pocket in there or you can just glue the whole thing and slap it on there. So you can make a pocket on the top or on the side. But um, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of glue it all because it was gonna look a little funky if I didn't have a little um, pocket slit. So I just took that and glued it. And you can leave it just like this if you want. I mean, if you're sending flat mail and you want it to be really flat, but I did mine three times because I just wanted it to have like several um, pockets in there. So my last one, just taking it again, keeping the pocket inside, and I'm gonna go ahead and glue, ooh, try to glue it on there. So right here. Just trying to keep it easy. That's what we like, right? Easy tutorials that look like you spent a lot of time on them. And my bow just came off because I did not put enough glue on there. I should have given it a minute to dry. Okay, so when you're done, it's gonna kind of have like this little effect right here, and that's okay. So you just open it and ta-da, you have all your little um, pockets right here that you can do. So I had just, I already cut out some of those um, little rectangles that I had from the Kelly Art. Um, this one right here, that right there. And I grabbed some of my little enamel dots. I'll just do like <laughs> one to show you guys or two. These stickers. I'm running out of this collection, you guys, but I'm telling you, I've been using it all up. So this collection came with these awesome stickers that are um, squares, and it was just perfect because I just pop them right on there. So um, I use this and then put this little square on. And just add a um, dot. I'm kind of running out of these. And then another thing is that they have these awesome little, this is my favorite part about Simple Stories. When you get their collection, they have all these little um, stickers that it comes with with little typewriting. And I love it because I love adding it on projects. So I just pop that on here. Just right there and right there it's like a tiny little ATC it's so cute right so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and then for these little areas I just literally popped on the squares again and oh hold on you know what oh yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and just add this on here just to fill it and at this point, you could take like paper clips and add your layers. You know how I showed you on the other albums. Um, you can do that. But I just took uh, the square and like just layered it with a sticker. 
and my bow came off again. This is not having time to dry. I'm about to stick tape on it. Dry. Okay, so, um, and then let me just do another page. So since it says princess, I guess this would be a time to put on a castle. And then kind of just eyeball it. So you guys will probably see it better than me if it's even. Adding some words. And at this point, you can probably shut this off if you don't want to watch. But I'm just going to go ahead and just do another um, little card. And so I guess I use this. And these are cute little ones too. Princess checklist but it's so cute right just to make like a little card I thought they were adorable so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that in there so as you can see I don't want to bore you with just you know little tiny cards but this is it you just my mason jar that and I stuck in the little ATC card things and just kept going so I hope you guys like this easy little album thank you